Hey everyone, happy Friday. Marty D here at Grumpy Labs again. I uh, wanted to go through uh, a bait that you may not be aware of. Um, you've, you've heard of our micro series baits that are ideal for panfish. Uh, they'll be suitable for whitefish and lake trout. Um, but one of the other baits that I haven't talked too much about, uh, it's been a, a bait that we've been testing a lot this past fall and in the summer on Lake St. Clair and the Detroit River is our Gobi series. Our Gobi series really comprises of three styles of baits. Uh, we have here the Google Eye Gobi. Um, comes in a variety of colors. You'll notice that it does have quite a resemblance to a Gobi style. We have the original Grumpy Gobi. Um, which again is slightly different what uh, what we've done with this one is we've really pronounced the head and the gill plate on this particular bait and elongated it a little more with some scale striations and the baby goby and that's not to be mistaken for the mini goby is part of our micro series um, the baby goby is actually going to be a very very good bait um, if you fish Lake Simcoe, um, it's in that size range where, um, you know, a lot of the goby that we caught last over the last three to four years have been in this range around the three inch range. Um, and in terms of the profile, you'll see it's got a, uh, exaggerated eyes, eye sockets, and again is a flat bottom low profile bait. Why is that? Well, if you've ever looked or studied gobies and how they move they're very much a bottom bait uh, a bottom fish they like to sit let me just get a little closer here they really like to sit close to the bottom and sit on the bottom and as they're moving you'll see they'll they'll sort of float up and then they'll pop back down to the bottom and sometimes you'll see a group of them feeding with their tail up like that and so uh, these particular baits have been designed again with salt and scent infusion. They come in a variety of colors. We've got a double color. You actually have a Lake Simcoe Gobi, um, which uh, you can look online and see. It's got a darker back and a lighter belly. Um, this one is the green pumpkin brown uh, style or color. And the way we recommend rigging these baits it's very simple, right? We want to be simple when we're out on the ice. We don't want to be touching too many, uh, too much terminal tackle. It's basically a Ned rig, okay? So you're literally taking a Ned hook, you know, measuring the distance as you hook it through, getting it centered straight through the back, and that's it. And what I often do when I'm fishing Lake Simcoe um, and as you know, in Ontario at Lake Simcoe, you're allowed two rods per angler. Um, what I generally do as a rule of thumb is I'll drill two holes. And one hole I'll be using a vibrato, a tractor jig, so vibration and shine in one hole. And I'll have a goby imitation working the bottom. And how do I do that? Generally speaking, when I'm using my Markham, I look for some type of activity. As soon as I see activity, I drop my vibrato, stop jigging, and I focus heavily on my Gobi soft plastic bait. And in general, what I would typically do is as I saw some action on my sonar, I would bring this bait up and I'd bring it down. And then I might pound the bottom a bit. If it's a little silty, it's gonna poof up some of the dirt and silt from the bottom, make it look like a Gobi's actually muddling around in the ground feeding and those whitefish hang out to take a look and inevitably you're going to get a strike but generally speaking the strike happens as you're doing this thing you may get it on the on the lift but quite often drop it down on the bottom pause one two three lift it up off the bottom just gently and what's important about that is if it's on the bottom as you know, fish feeding, in particular whitefish, when they feed off the bottom, they're vacuuming in water. They're, they're basically inhaling water through their gills and evacuating it through their gill brackets. And that motion of water, as they open their jaw, draws the bait in. 
if you're on the bottom, it's more difficult for that fish to do that. Give it a little hip help by lifting it up off the bottom and when it inhales, it's just gonna go right into its mouth, set the hook, fish on. So again, this is part of our Gobi series baits. We, they come in all different types of colors. We've got a chartreuse bottom for the walleye anglers out there that fish the Detroit or the St. Clair River. Um, we've got typical colors like green pumpkin, uh, green pumpkin brown. We've got black blue, virtually any color you want. And if, you, if we don't have it on our website, we'll make it for you. Um, so just a quick heads up on that. Very simple technique. Ned head basically through the back that's it folks nothing else to it uh, you know if you're allowed a second line I really encourage you to use that vibrato as it vibrates and attracts fish from a distance and uh, keep an eye out on your sonar if you don't have one consider one because it does make a difference when you've got seconds to set the hook or to change up technique so I hope that was helpful please visit our website uh, grumpybaits.com um, our retailers, Natural Sports in Waterloo, uh, we have also Angling Outfitters in Woodstock and Angling Sports in London carry all of these goby baits. Um, if you have any questions, send me an email um, or visit our site. We've got forms there. Let's, uh, let's see some photos this year. Love to see uh, you guys using the grumpy baits and, and sending us your photos. I'd be happy to share that with the community. Again, Marty D, thanks for your time. Be safe and have fun on the water.